that's a failure of failure of management, honestly. Tonight, more than 3,500 people are off the job at one of the largest pork plants in the country. More than 200 workers at the Sioux Falls plant got the coronavirus. We have 431 active cases and 238 of those, more than half, are employees of Smithfield. South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem writing a letter to Smithfield Foods CEO over the weekend calling for closure. As soon as possible to protect the employees, the families, the Sioux Falls community, and the people of South Dakota. The company says workers will keep getting paid, but that's not enough to appease families and neighbors worried it's just too late. When they first released to the press that there were 80 cases, and they said that it was believed to be contained to the individuals. That was the spot where everybody started going, no. Corey Luther works at a vape shop in town. He's taking precautions. Masks, gloves, we've put a hand sanitizer pump by the front door. He's worried Smithfield's deep cleaning and sanitation wasn't enough. If you don't know you have it and you're going about your regular business, could very easily be transmitting it to people. In its statement on the closure, Smithfield said the Sioux Falls plant is critical, claiming it makes up 4 to 5 percent of all U.S. pork production. The closure of this facility, it says, is pushing our country perilously close to the edge in terms of our meat supply. It is impossible to keep our grocery stores stocked if our plants are not running. It's, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal for the supply chain. MIT professor Yossi Sheffi, an expert on the supply chain, disagrees. The United States is so big. If people will have, uh, you know, beef or chicken instead of uh, pork for two weeks, what's the big deal? I don't know why the company is not testing everybody. Dr. Harry Hall is an MD and epidemiologist. The company may not be providing it, but certainly the local public health authorities should be providing the test. The governor says a testing facility is coming to Sioux Falls. For shoppers, Dr. Hull says there's no need to worry about potential contamination. The meat that's been produced in the plant will take days before it reaches consumers and the virus will be dead and the meat will be cooked and certainly cooking will kill it. But for Smithfield workers, the damage may already be done. James Packard, Newsy, Chicago.